it was just Leah's birthday, Leah pl who plays Annabeth. And um, along with it being her birthday, it was also recently, um, I don't know if Momo, is Momo her actual name or is that just like what? Is Momona, but everybody, they all just call her Momo. Yeah, um, and she is the actress who plays Tylee in the Netflix live action Avatar. Mm -hmm. So um, there was like weird fan behavior happening because they had their birthday parties on the same day and the pictures were posted of Walker at Momo's first. And like, of course, the weird parasocial fan accounts are like, but what about Leah's birthday? Mm -hmm. Or like, oh, did nobody go to Leah's birthday? Or Leah isn't there. Does that mean that she's not invited or something? When it's literally just, they both had the, they're like, they're wearing the same clothes in these pictures. They just went to one and then went to the next yeah. one. Um, it's not like, that big of a deal but it's it's more of a thing that people feel like the need to do that sort of parasocial stuff mm -hmm. with the actors and we've talked about this before when we did like our our general grooming episode one of the things we talked about is how careful you have to be not only with like the cast and how they interact with their fans like that which is why this kind of stuff is hard like if the fans, if they interacted all with their fans, which is why we brought up like how Andrew Alvarez was acting, mm -hmm. um, it makes them feel like they are justified to know about like everything about you. If you talk to them at all in that way, like your friends and it, um, but this situation in particular, the updates account everybody what like looks at on Twitter said some, this is how I even knew that this was even happening. and they said something about like fans need to go get a hobby and like work on how they have like a parasocial relationship with this actor and they were meaning like fans of walker and when i heard that when i read that i was like it's like almost fascinating to me in a horrible way fans have a parasocial relationship with him when he is not online at all mm -hmm. like what are you parasocially connecting to because there is literally nothing yeah. from him at all and that is like like you can imagine like looking at this situation why it's like this like he friday was a day when they were filming all day and so like if you have a friend and you're around them all the time you're not going to post on like social media like happy birthday unless you're like somebody who likes using social media for fun like mm -hmm. people like Dior and stuff like that did, but they also, they use their social media. They just post videos for fun and interact with people that way. He doesn't do that. His TikTok account has two videos right now. And one of them is the new trailer for Percy Jackson. The only reason he posted the other video is because he posted the Percy Jackson video the next day. <laughs> like he doesn't post videos like that. Even before his old account got banned um, for a couple months, he barely had any on that account either and most of the videos that he did post were ones that he he like posted and stuff before he started filming like percy jackson and his account became like his, his profile became like much more you know out there yeah. um, but like one thing that does happen with a lot of teenage actors is people people make it very hard for them to maintain friendships Mm -hmm. because when you look at this situation like I don't I honestly don't know like what Walker could do in this situation and like we were talking about this earlier today but I generally don't know what he can do because he doesn't ever post anything about himself online at all like when he does post things he doesn't say anything like he doesn't like write anything when he posts like a story or something on his Instagram and sometimes I see people being like, oh, why doesn't he say anything? Or why is he so short? And it's like, because people read through and pick apart every single thing that he says. Mm -hmm. And so like, if he, if people are going to do that, then he's just not going to say anything. And yeah. he's already basically never on social media. And there's already so many things happening where people are trying to dig into the personal parts of his life when he's not on here. And so it's like, how could he ever justify being on here in any way when he's already trying so hard not to be, to like keep his private life 
private like anyone would need in order to not like lose your mind <laughs> yeah. like dealing with this sort of attention but it's like this feels very similar to like the chapel Roan thing that people have been talking about lately where people are basically mad at her because she doesn't want to have a toxic parasocial relationship with her fans mm -hmm. she doesn't want to tell them who to vote for she doesn't want like she doesn't want them to like know things about her she doesn't want she doesn't want to like weaponize that parasocial like thing that she she knows that exists with her fans she wants to like have boundaries and keep it as healthy as she possibly can and people are, are like upset at her about that and are saying that she doesn't know how to be a celebrity and she's not a good pop star and shouldn't be famous because she doesn't want those things and in the same way like walker very obviously wants to keep a lot of his life as private as he can but people like don't want him to be able to do that mm -hmm. and like just in like the last like because i make videos about percy jackson i sometimes see videos like this about him from like young fans and i try not to think about it too much <laughs> once i see them because they stress me out but like just in the last six months like i saw uh videos about somebody impersonating his 13 year old little brother on snapchat <laughs> um i saw somebody who he has like his like just an example of people like going into like breaking through like his boundaries is on his social media accounts he has who he follows as like you know you can do that thing where people can't see who you follow Mm -hmm. And so he obviously does that because that is one way to like stop people from bothering and harassing people in your life is to have them not even know who you're following. And yeah. so somehow people somehow just by like accident happen to see a girl that he was following. And it, this girl is somebody who was like, she was like 20 or 21 and she was like in college. Like she like the, the picture they posted on like a TikTok was like her in like a sorority. And the and like I saw multiple posts where he still had his old account where you could like tag his name and people were like adding his name and asking him if he was dating her. And it's like he is 15 and she is 20, 21. If that if that is happening, that's a literal crime. So yeah. like I legitimately hope that that is not happening, but it's more the fact that they, someone just happened to see somebody who he was following and it was a girl that they don't know and they immediately start like tagging him and asking him in the videos like who is this and it's like you don't deserve to know that like why do you think that he should ever explain that to you like, and who are you <laughs> like you're just a you just like his acting why would he ever explain or have to justify to you people in his life that he decides to follow on social media and then and then on top of that there's like times where recently like people somehow leaked like a uh, recording of him playing video games with his little brother and just made like jokes about it. There's the whole crazy thing that happened with like Ryan Reynolds and stuff and how people responded to that. And then there's also the fact that he posted something accidentally on his public account that was meant to be private. And once he deleted it and showed that he didn't want it to be public, people just posted that stuff anyway. People mm -hmm. that posted photos of him playing like sports at his local high school with his high school like across his shirt so there's no way that you wouldn't know and people have asked the people who post those things to like blur out the picture of his high school so that stalkers can't show up at his fucking high school and they don't do it and they don't take the pictures down people have like followed his like high school friends that have like posted photos with him just being a normal high schooler and all of this all of this is happening where he has posted nothing, mm -hmm. nothing online. And people are, are like, and I also forgot to mention the fact that people doxed his phone number and are like texting him yeah. about things. All of this with like literally nothing. He has two TikTok posts. And since Percy Jackson stopped filming, he has posted nothing before the new trailer came out like publicly for anyone to see on his instagram besides like stories every once in a while promoting the show or like you know promoting something that one of his friends or something like that is doing or maybe or, sharing like, something that he was tagged in yeah. yeah and so it's like some of the things he doesn't even do that with like he's been in podcast interviews that he's never posted on any of his stuff yeah. that he did and so it's like he 
is he's doing the best that he possibly can of like trying to keep that stuff private, but people are just like barreling into that part of his life to the point that they're micromanaging basically his like social media to be like, oh, well, since Momo is is a friend of his, she did, she was in the movie, the second movie that he did when he was like a little kid still, when he was like 12 before he got cast yeah. as Percy. And so it's cool that they're both in Vancouver at the same time doing these different projects. But somehow that's turned into like this whole thing of like, oh, people don't like Leah anymore because they like her instead. Or like this, the idea of like, oh, they don't get along. And it's like, I, f I have this like overwhelming feeling to almost like sit people down and just be like, you will never know if they don't get along. Yeah, and you shouldn't. No, you they could hate each other and you will never know. You will never be able to tell. You will never be able to figure it out by looking at what he posts on his Instagram, what he likes and what he doesn't. You will never be able to figure that out because that is all parasocial stuff that you can never tell what somebody is doing and who they are. There are so many stories of influencers that have done atrocious things that nobody had any idea they did until somebody started talking about it. You would never know they were doing that based on their social media. Mm -hmm. like, for me and like your like lives for like two and a half years of our lives nobody even knew that we were friends yeah. because we didn't post each other it didn't matter that we didn't because we were talking every day we just didn't like perform our friendship because we didn't have to do that we were just friends <laughs> and you don't need to like post it publicly like that if you don't if you don't want to and so it's just like this i don't know how i guess when i look at that i get like anxious like watching all of this because i genuinely don't know how he's supposed to like how is he supposed to stay friends with his cast like with who are his friends yeah when his like the people who like him are not only invading his life but they're also like saying like the having these judgments about the people in his life that he has actual relationships with and mm -hmm. putting judgments on those people based on just things that they think is happening because of social media posts. And that stuff does affect child actors. There's lots of stories like that of, like the biggest one I can remember is Harry Styles and Larry in New Direction, or like, what is that? What is New Direction? One, One Direction, One Direction. That's the name of that band. They were like best friends, like they were really close friends. And then people started a rumor that never died to this day that they are secretly in love with each other. And it ruined their entire friendship. They're not friends anymore and haven't been for years. And they have said in interviews that they stopped hanging out because how do you handle hanging out with somebody when every time you do and you post photos of you and your friends, people are speculating that you're having sex with each other and that you're cheating on your girlfriends to be with each other instead. And it's like, it puts so much pressure on everything that you do. And like Walker can't stop the people in his life, like his other castmates and his other friends or his other, or even his siblings from posting pictures of him online. But every time he does like something like this happens, that is not something that he can control. And so I, I don't know the answer to this, but I just wish that people would stop putting so much pressure on not only him, but the rest of the cast. Because at some point, if you keep doing that, they're not gonna share anything with you anymore. Yeah. Because it's gonna be like, if I was Walker at this point, I would literally never go on social media. Like mm -hmm. I would I would be so afraid of, of looking at it, of not knowing like, one thing that happened that I forgot to mention is um, that just made me sad. <laughs> is they did an interview with Josh Horowitz, I think his name is, um, for when they were at Comic-Con, when it was just the trio. And it was like a longer interview they did with him. Just ask, you know, talking about Percy Jackson and stuff. And mm -hmm. during the interview, there was this clip that a lot of people were posting on, on TikTok where Leah was like just answering a question and they were sitting on a couch. And, and like, um, Walker put like his arm like behind the couch, like you do when you're just like moving, when you're like listening to somebody talking. And, but he put his arm like behind the couch where like Leah was sitting. 
And you can see him clearly in the video realize that he shouldn't do that because that might make people like start talking about him and Leah. And so he like quickly like brings his arm back and he looks like like almost like awkward, like trying to see like it did anybody notice that I did that while also trying to listen to what Leah is saying to her saying to him because she's like talking to him <laughs> while all of this is going on. And like people posted that as like a joke, but I'm like, he is like being so careful about everything he does around his female like cast member because everyone is reading so much into everything that he does. I can't, I just can't, like, I can't actually imagine being under that sort of pressure where you have to like be so careful about every single thing you do and every single thing you say. But I have been in therapy for a long time from having to go through that when I was a teenager, even if it was very different circumstances, it was the same general idea of being under that sort of pressure. And it's fucking horrible. <laughs> and yeah. I really hate the idea of any of these kids feeling like that when they're doing something that they love. Yeah, well, and this pressure is going to happen regardless of all of these stupid little breadcrumbs people are reading into online because their characters are going to fall in love. That pressure is automatically built into their roles because people are going to be curious, how does the chemistry build between them? What's that chemistry going to look like as the characters get more and more romantic with each other? It's why we see actors that were in movies together getting together. Sometimes it's PR, but sometimes it's actually they were close quarters and had to act like a couple for so long that it just works. Mm -hmm. um, we see it with musicians, you know, where they work on a project together and then suddenly they're dating. Um, and so they're at an age because Leah just turned 15 too, right? And mm -hmm. Walker's 15 going on 16. They're at that age where they're trying on dating. They're learning what their preferences are, what kind of partner they want to be with, all of that. And to have this media speculation around it and to have the pressure of, oh, our romance has to look real on top of that. Like, that's so much. That's so much for a young kid to deal with. And we don't need that even if it's just like an instagram account that has a few hundred followers saying that shit. yeah they just don't it's so hard to deal with that sort of pressure like when you already don't know mm -hmm. um like what you're doing really or what's going on when it comes to that sort of stuff at that age anyway yeah and so on top of it the idea that you know that everything you do all these people that have never met you before are gonna like talk about it and, and especially the way that it happens where people talk about them doing things that i'm sure in the moment when they were doing it they didn't think it meant anything mm -hmm. just them being like you know people <laughs> like uh and just being normal people and that's just how people act but now because they're under this sort of pressure they have to like think so much about everything they do it's just it would be really hard to not only with like even ignoring like the romantic side of it, it would be very hard just to like stay friends with people. Mm -hmm. And every time you do hang out, like people have all of these different ideas about what is really going on. Yeah. But you gotta give them time to be able to just like be themselves so that they can figure out who they wanna be instead of like trying to make them be who you want them to be. Yeah. Yeah, and um, like we talk a lot about how this show feels like it's undoing some of the childhood trauma that was done to our generation when they were child stars. Um, if we want that to continue, we also have to treat them better as child stars. We have to not start rumors about them. We have to not put so much pressure on their personal lives and just let them work. You know, like these kids want to work. They like the work they're doing. They're enjoying it. Let's let them have fun. Yeah. And especially I always get like like this about Walker because he had such little time acting before all of this happened. Mm -hmm. Like all the other kids involved in the show grew up basically in around Hollywood or in L.A. or acting since they were kids or being involved in the industry somehow. He didn't have any of this stuff. And he has even said in interviews recently that, you know, he's still new at this. He's the star of this whole production, but he's still very, he's only worked on four productions so far, including mm -hmm. this one. And so it's like, can you maybe give him some time to even figure out what the fuck he's doing? Yes. 
in like his job in life in general um before like putting all of these like expectations on him because there's the thing that sucks is that there's no way for anyone to ever live up to these and so at some point he's going to do something that disappoints people and they're going to like get mad at him for something when it's like what have i even done to like disappoint you yeah <laughs> because you don't actually know me you're all doing this based on like what you think i'm what i what you think i'm like based on like my like disney sort of like persona that he, that they have to put out on social media yeah like let's stop reading into the bread crumbs that he's giving us by not posting yeah. and let him just live <laughs> yeah yeah like look two of his friends had their birthdays on the same day and he went to both of their parties and one of them just posted immediately and the other one waited the next day and then posted that's all that happened yeah <laughs> Can we relax? <laughs> yeah, and judging by Leah's outfit and stuff, she was probably like yassifying the pictures a little yes. bit. Yes, they, she they needed like, her time, okay? Yeah, they were like, hers was like posed photos while like Momo's was just like them going out to eat. Like, honestly, the thing that was funniest about Momo's was I said to you, like, I was picturing like a teenage girl walking into this restaurant in Canada, in Vancouver, Canada, and seeing like, the cast of Avatar The Last Airbender and Percy Jackson just sitting there eating ice cream and just like falling over dead right like right yeah. there because like there's pictures of like Charlie and Walker and like the kid who plays Aang mm -hmm. just like hanging out and I'm like this is if like a fan saw this it would be like the holy grail of their life <laughs> yes and so it's supposed to be just fun when you see this stuff, because it's fun to see them being normal kids still while also doing like being in a more adult world, like the film industry and things mm -hmm. like that. That's all this is supposed to be, not like some sort of discourse about what you think is happening between them personally. Yeah, it, it literally does not matter. <laughs> no, it does not matter.